Yeah, I got I got to record my phone call. Yeah, I'm um, still in his disability chair. Oh, um, you know, right, one of them chairs that you be in when your leg be broke. No, it's not broke. It's, it, it did something to it. You know, I, I don't know, you know. They called it a gun or a taser. Yeah. Um, a police officer did it. A person that said they was a police officer. Mm -hmm. It was in Birmingham, Alabama on November 29th. I think 2019. Mm -hmm. On a Sunday, at, it was the Church of God in Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, the police officer, he had molested me. Oh, he had touched my. Oh, he was squeezing on my um. Penis and balls, my private parts. But he was squeezing on me and he was looking right at me and they jammed up something on my butt and they shot me a lot of times with a taser and Stuff just been different ever since. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it wasn't real like that at first. Yeah. Exactly, that's why I was there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because those different girls or people or beings was saying that their name was April Williams. Mm hmm Yeah. And stuff felt so crazy and exactly. Mm hmm Yeah, so I went to the church on a Sunday looking for the children. Yeah, exactly. Because according to the Family Court of Jefferson County of Birmingham, Alabama, they said that the children, yeah, exactly, were members of that Church of God in Christ in Birmingham, Alabama, in Jefferson County. And it was a Sunday, and I don't know where everybody was. Mm hmm I'm not sure where the person that says their name, April Williams, was. Mm-mm. Yeah, it was crazy because oh, um, too much stuff had happened, and it was other people that was telling me that something seems wrong. Yeah, yeah, it was it, it was somebody at the store, and he was like, "It seemed like when they done it, seemed strange as well. It seemed like it was though, like they were saying that." If every time I was arrested, it was no victim, and it was a victimless crime with the police officers, you know, did that stuff to me. But, you know, I was the one 
being abused. All right, you know? Exactly. Okay, so you looked up my background and my medical records. So you have the information. You see, I was telling the truth. I told you. Okay, okay. I'm okay, okay. So it does show that ever since I was in elementary school, I was going to Western Mental Health Center. And I was never arrested or locked up or put in jail or prison or any of that stuff when I was in elementary school. And they did give me drugs that they said were bad drugs. Mm -hmm. Ritalin. Mm -hmm. And they gave me, yeah, that blue pill that said Adderall and Dexedrine and uh, um, okay, yeah, 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 that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some of them people got in trouble. And then, yeah, exactly, then they tried to say that they was crazy after they got in trouble and tried to use an excuse yeah, they tried to make me look bad. Yeah. I was already taking their medicines and they was already giving me drugs and stuff way before any of these court cases happened. Yeah, I was being abused and they molested me. The police molested me and, and the people that uh, said they was brothers or family or uh, stuff like that. Uh, the, the, the stuff. And it, it, it happened that the houses that they said was that Yolanda Jackson laid the house, and it happened at the house that they said my wife, that the people that said they were her family was it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they said it was some girls at the church. That church of God in Christ. Yeah. Uh-huh. And that they would know that I did go to the church of God in Christ a lot. And that a girl that said her name was April Williams, she came to the same church with me a lot before and some of the girls had even said they was mad because, yeah, exactly. If you stuff that happened to me, because it's the, it, yeah, if it was different girls saying that their name was April Williams, yeah, it's the, it wasn't fair to me because I never had a girlfriend or I never had a be, before being married and stuff like that because the person that said that their name was April, yeah, yeah, the person that said their name was April Williams and told me that she was my wife and all of that stuff, she was the only girl that I was ever in a sexual relationship with because all the other stuff that them people did to me was them, like, abusing me and blessing me and stuff. And the only time that I was having sex with anybody, yeah, they said, yeah, going all the way. Yeah, that type of stuff was when a girl said her name was April Williams. And she used the same name every time, you know. Yeah, the, she used the same social security number. Because a girl that said her name was April Williams, she showed me her birth certificate. And it said April 30th, 1986. She showed me her social security card and the number, her social security number. Mm hmm Yeah, all of it. So it was like, some of them people did something wrong because, exactly, when I was with a girl, 
you know, she said her name was April Williams. She used the same birth certificate. It said April 30th, 1986. She used the same social security um, number or the same social security card. It's what you yep, yep, that's what she did. Yeah, that's what she did. Those different people that said their name was April. Yeah, they, they, they. So I'm not sure who, which one she is, the one that was doing the bad stuff. <laughs> so somebody had tried to make me see. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure which one she is that was doing the bad stuff. I'm not sure if her name is even April or not. They said she was a police officer's girlfriend or that she was a prostitute for a police officer and that her name might not be April at all and then she was trying to steal me from my wife. And I'm not even sure if my wife's name is April because it seemed like somebody was using... It seemed like different people had used the name April Williams and they had used the birthday of April 30th, 1986 and they used the same social security number. Mm -hmm. No, I never um used a Section 8 voucher or any of that stuff. It was some people that tried to get me to do it and I was like, no. I always made sure to pay my own rent. Mm -hmm. No, I don't have a food stamp card and I'm not getting any food stamps right now. Well, if somebody was using a food stamp card with my name on it, it's not me. And they must be doing something wrong. I haven't had a food stamp card in years. Mm-mm. Yes, uh, my birth certificate says March 4th, 1984. Mm-hmm. Oh, so they're not supposed to be doing it then. They said it was them people that they said was those other families. Somebody said they was the mom and the dad and, and stuff like that and that. They wanted um they was they, they was they was they was obsessed with being pimps and prostitutes and stuff like that. Not me. Mm-mm. Yes, I, I think it did have something to do with like another man with somebody with some other man that wanted to have sex with other men and other girls. I'm not sure who he is. I don't want to do none of that stuff. No. Not, mm -mm. Oh, somebody got somebody pregnant. A sex contest with now. With oh, so somebody was trying to be a preacher or a pastor. Oh. And they said it was people that said they went to college and was in those frats, those fraternal orders. And they did have sex with different people and went all the way. And it was people that didn't use the same name. And it was people that didn't use the same social security number. So those other people know the way they did when they did what they did. So they just chose having sex with different people and getting people pregnant and stuff like that. Well, I didn't do any of it. Mm -mm. So yeah, you see, okay, so you see, 
other guys and other people went to frat parties and went to college and they had full blown sex and went all the way with each other and people got pregnant from doing that stuff. When they did that stuff, it wasn't a person using the same social security number, using the same birth certificate, using the same name, and using a marriage license. It was just them having sex and they know what they was doing and they got people pregnant and they don't have it. the same story that I have. So they, they can't really steal my identity. Okay. Oh, because it's girls that say that they, they baby mama is, is mad at them for having sex with the other girls and getting other people pregnant. Oh, okay, okay. And they're willing to tell because they want child support and all of this stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad that I didn't do any of this stuff. Exactly. That's what I was telling people that all you had to do was be with somebody for the right reasons, being married, and not having seats or whatever they call going all the way with other people because you can't get another person pregnant unless you was having sex with them. And whether you get them pregnant or not, when you go all the way with a person or when you have sex with a person, if they get pregnant, it doesn't matter if you was trying to get them pregnant. It doesn't matter if you was not trying to get them pregnant. That's what I was told, yeah. That's where I get this information from. They said it doesn't matter if you was trying to get them pregnant. And it doesn't matter if you was not trying to get them pregnant. And they said it doesn't matter if you use the condom. And it doesn't matter if you did not try to use the condom. If the people made a pregnancy, then maybe they shouldn't have been having sex. That's what they told me. So they said it's not about abortion. It's not about getting abortions. No. They say you're not supposed to be having sex with a person. You know, like I was taught, they said you're not supposed to be going all the way with a person, getting them pregnant if you didn't want a pregnancy and if you didn't want a child being born. They were like, you would have to explain why you had sex. And they were like, my story is different. Yeah. Exactly. Because it's evidence of a person saying their name was April Williams. A marriage license with a person saying their name is April Williams. A birth certificate that says April 30th, 1986. A social security number and they all said they was the same person and since I was there because they said they were my wife when the person that was with me was using a birth certificate she was using the same birth certificate they said April 30th 1986 mm -hmm. she was using the same social security card with the same social security number on it mm -hmm. on August 31st, 2004, when a child was born, she was using the same birth certificate that said April 30th, 1986. And when the child was born on August 31st, 2004, she was using the same name that it said on the marriage license. Mm -hmm. And the marriage license said April 30th, 2004. Mm -hmm. And she was using the same name on July 18th. On the birth certificate, when he said the mom, April Williams, and it was the same name and the same social security number and the same birth certificate that 
before April Williams that said that she was born April 30th, 1986. Mm -hmm. And it was the same way on October 6th, 2008, when the child was born. On, on all of them birth certificates, April, uh, uh, yeah, it, on all those birth certificates from August 31st, 2004, July 18th, 2006, and um, October 6, 2008, the person that was saying she was the mom, she used the name April Williams, and she used the birth certificate as her identity, saying that she was born April 30th, 1986, and she used the same social security number, yeah, that the person that said she was my wife used in yeah, when each of the children was born, she used the same marriage license from April 30th, 2004, and that same name, April Williams, and she identified herself saying she was my wife. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, some of the people told me, like, that, they think it was like some of those people that had sex with each other. Like some of them say they was like single moms or baby mamas or baby daddies and people in it. They had sex with different people and didn't care about being married and didn't really know what to do with the children or with their family or how to get married or stuff like that. Mm hmm. Yeah, because they said that. All of them people that said their name was April Williams, that some of them, or, you know, it was like, it's just one marriage license. Yeah. And they're not even sure what the name is because if it was just a name that they was using. So it was like, the situation different, yeah. But it's like, when other people got pregnant or got people pregnant and did that stuff, they don't have the same story. It wasn't the same person using the same birth certificate, using the same social security number, and using a marriage license saying that they were married. They don't have the same type of story. So it was like my marriage license is evidence of me being married and for the right reasons and that I was sexually abused because other people said that they were exactly other people said that it, they were her and used all of those birth certificates and birthdays and social security numbers and stuff and, and, they, and they know that when they, they and somebody else know what they was doing and I'm just a stupid crazy mental health patient that was abused yeah mm -hmm. I don't know why the other people had sex or got people pregnant if they don't have the same story that Somebody was using the same name, the same birth certificate, the same social security number, and they had a marriage license, and at least thought they were married, then it seemed like they was just having sex and doing what they wanted to do. I guess some people didn't care about being married. Mm-hmm. No, I haven't been having sex with nobody, anyone. Yes, I've been paying my rent every month. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not sure where my wife or my children are. Mm -mm. No, I'm not trying to steal anyone's church. If someone else said they was the baby mama or the baby daddy and stuff like that, I'm not trying to steal their church from them. Mm-mm.